Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session we completed Shu Amiguchi's story and uh, kind of left him hanging in the middle of uh, in the middle of a big old sort of confrontational situation. But I, I'm guessing maybe we'll see the result of that in Natsuno's final story, perhaps? But today, of course, we have unlocked Renya Goto, and today we are going to binge the fuck out of Renya Goto. Sounds like a good plan to me. Renya Goto continues, continues to seek the truth. While in the UFO, he discovered footage of an elderly version of himself. Oh, how long ago that was. Let's see what comes next. <sighs> Sunset, 1985, Shikishima 9th Building. It would appear I can no longer rely on Shikishima. Police records at Miss Morimura's death has left the Shikishima execs in disarray. Now they won't let me spearhead the Sentinel Project, as if I'm just a child. I doubt my opinion will weigh much in their discussions going forward. Right, so this is after Morimura died, so this is pretty far down the timeline. Miss Morimura, why did you have to die? Hmm. I thought they weren't stopping for a minute then. Okay. That was pretty quick, Gotokun. I checked the corpse at the police station. It was yours, Miss Morimura. There's no doubt about it. Is that so? You don't seem too shocked about your death. Well, it didn't exactly stop me. Here I am, safe and sound. I suppose that's true. I mean, one version of you. The other version of you is dead. <laughs> like, I don't know. That seems a bit cold. She's like, oh, I'm still fine. Yeah. The other Murimura was her own person. It's like how Tetsuya Ida and Shu Amaguchi are both their own people, despite sharing the DNA. Like... It's kind of, kind of cold to be like, oh, well, I'm still here. So, what did the police say? The cause of death was a gunshot to the abdominal area. No bullet was found in the body. Though it's easy to imagine why. The murder weapon was likely from beyond this time, beyond material bullets. Estimated time of death is approximately 1900 hours. You were witnessed running off somewhere with a short haired student. According to a pedestrian's eyewitness account, anyway. Short haired student being A. Sekigahara. I'm still not sure I believe that A killed this her. Era's police really did their due diligence. Not sure. An acquaintance of Miss Morimura. Described as a short haired male in a student uniform. Most likely A. Sekigahara. Yeah. Waking up next to her with a gun and everything makes me feel like he was framed more than anything. There should have been that drone tracking her movement. So, anything helpful in its footage? The timing couldn't have been worse. It looks like it was monitoring the government's movement at the time. So she wasn't even under surveillance. I see. Any thoughts as to our primary suspect? Is he going to say A? Eh? Who do you think did it? Well... The witness statement matches the description of A. Sekigahara. It did seem like something was wrong with A. Sekigahara's memories. I wouldn't be surprised if he was our murderer. Though it raises the question of why he'd bother to lure her out. Surely a murderer's optimal scenario is to avoid being spotted at all. Well, maybe it wasn't premeditated. He could have killed her by accident. Well, he certainly is the type to brood over things. 
I can say he's not enough of an idiot to shoot someone on impulse. Who else could it be? That man with that... call sign? Some numerical name. Logically speaking... A numerical name? He would naturally be another potential suspect. Oh, 426, right. He did attempt to eradicate all the compatibles. He's a dangerous individual. That wasn't a previous so loop large. Fight. All that's left of 426 is his consciousness. I don't think I could reliably predict his behavior. He's desperate enough to do anything. Yeah. He was brought back by Tetsu, younger Tetsuya Ida. He jumped into the Tommy android's body. He jumped into the Tomao android's body. And then he jumped into Juro's mind. He's uh, definitely willing to do whatever. 426 certainly isn't above killing. If Ida-san were here, I'm sure he'd declare 426 our primary suspect. We know he killed at least four people. That's why I shot him dead in the end. If he resurrected himself as an android, maybe... That would give him a chance at revenge. As a motive, it sounds pretty clear-cut. Aside from Miss Morimura and Ida-san, four others came here for refuge 16 years ago. By the time I'd started assisting Miss Morimura's efforts, they'd already lost their physical bodies. Fortunately, we were able to use the data stored in Sector Zero. This allowed us to meld their replicated consciousness with AI. As for how they lost their bodies in the first place, reportedly 426 is doing. He destroyed them all in one fell swoop. According to Ida-san's account, anyway. But if number 16 is to be believed, that's not what really happened. And Miss Morimura should be aware of that. Ha. Huh. I spoke with the pilot of Sentinel number 16. Back then, she gave Miss Morimura something nobody else would. The truth. Recall. I don't remember who 16 is. <laughs> We've hardly ever linked the people with their number. Our survey says... Oh, it's Tommy. Wait, what do you mean? Could you is go it? over that again? Or was 16 shoot? Our defensive maneuvers failed. So we decided to stick to the plan. We all headed to the gate to escape. But there was an explosion while we were shifting. <gasps> From what I can tell, the Type 98 we were shifting in got attacked. But that's the last thing I remember. After that, nothing. But that means... Is that how your data was damaged? It wasn't some plot by 426 after all? Just... an explosion? We never did manage to completely reconstruct your data. I thought it was just that you didn't get converted in time, but... You were... You were all dead before the shift even happened. Itakun, you said he killed the four of them. I know you did. You said he sabotaged them, killed them. Given the chance, he certainly would have. You lied to me? He already tried to kill us all in the past. You know he'd have tried again if we left him alive. Killing him was the right call. No. Wow. I... So she killed Joe because Ida told her that he killed them, but he hadn't. Oof. So you believe 426 is the most likely suspect? Barring A. Sekigahara. Who else could it be? I wouldn't be surprised if it was Ida. Ida's definitely coming out as the villain of the piece right now. Like, either before it seemed like there might be viable points on both sides. I just wasn't clear on the full picture. But after last part, it uh, it definitely seems like, no, Ida's just the villain. He's trying, like, <laughs> he's just content to let everyone die and kill off anyone so long as it fixes his relationship with Tommy. Which he himself fucked up. And is now trying to fix against her wishes. Like, he's definitely... He's definitely coming 
in like it's it's clear that he's he's the bad guy in this situation. So, yeah. I'd like to revisit something you just mentioned about 426 killing at least four individuals. Do you really not remember? Well, it depends. Remember what? When this Chihiro files, I presume, got the memories, right? I gathered quite a lot of material in the past. Most of it is rather outdated, including Ida-san's statement concerning those victims. In other words, your answer is objectively incorrect. Really? Well, can you blame me? Look at this body I'm stuck with. I'm bound to have some memories confused. I can't remember exactly when she got the memories, like, put in this body, because... Like, if the other Chihiro found out that stuff after the memories were put in this Chihiro, then this Chihiro wouldn't have those memories because they hadn't been made at the point when they were implanted. But I can't remember exactly when that was. If you have some comment on this form, then by all means. No. That's not what I meant. Miss Morimura, I have one more question. What is it? Regarding 426... Would you say you had any particular feelings toward him? Feelings? Well, he was certainly a good friend. I felt like he really understood me. Well, used to, anyway. Where's this coming from? That doesn't make sense. According to number 18, or should I say, Tamao-san, I had a hunch about Miss Morimura's feelings, and my discussion with Tamao-san only confirmed my suspicions. Recall! Flashback to the schoolyard in 85. Otokun. Tamao-san. I'm sorry for this. I know it's sudden. I need to talk to you. Did something happen? It's about Mori Morrison. She's been transplanting 426's memories onto Juro Kun. I only just found out. 426? As in the escaped android? No, not that one. She's using the memory data of the man himself. It was saved during the shift. In other words, She's trying to use Juro to create another 426? I did my best to talk her down. She's letting me handle Juro-kun's treatment now. Still, I don't think she's given up on this. Why is she trying to bring back 426? Well, I've been giving her some advice about it. And I understand where she's coming from, but... Ah... Uh... Is it because... Mori Morrison is in love with him. <sighs> with 426. Maybe she always has been. That's why she wants him back as a human. But she has to know the risks. He's a dangerous man. True, but that's not exactly what she's remembering. Besides, she's the one who killed him. Yeah, that's that what I was going to say. is still eating at her. So, yeah, that makes sense. So that's why. Right. Yeah, okay. Oh, man, it's all so much. So it's again with the... It's the same she... Because obviously with Iori, we see that she loves A. But again, it's the same genetics but different upbringings. And so that changes, like, thoughts and feelings and everything. Because, you know, nature versus nurture, there's two different things that influence you. And, yeah, so the adult version of Chihiro was in love with Juro. That's why she was so hesitant to kill him originally, but she thought it had to be done, and then she found out that Ida lied to her about it, and that she killed Juro when he hadn't killed those people, and so then she was trying to bring him back by transplanting the old him memories into new, young clone, slash not clone, just DNA replication Juro. Oh, man. This is cool. 
Watch over Mori Morison. And try to keep her away from Jurokun if you can. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. I can barely take the idea of one four two six, let alone two. Where are we going now? Nurse's office? So I was right. Miss Morimura did have feelings for someone. Nope, just ending the ending the flashback. Okay, okay. Tamao's statement. When Juro Izumi lost his memories, you aimed to use him to revive 426. Make one a vessel for the other. <laughs> one reason seems most likely. You harbored romantic feelings for him. Me? <laughs> With him? You're joking. That Chihiro Morimura was mind-hacked, remember? You said so yourself? Mind-hacked? My goodness, romantic feelings? For him? <laughs> no, God no. Not my cup of tea. Hmm. If you recall, I suggested that Miss Morimura was mind-hacked. That idea was based on a certain piece of evidence I found. One particular log. Are we gonna recall it? <laughs> if you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know. Two years before you were born, Ida-san extracted some information from 426 that in turn led to the discovery of the data log in question. So why again does this matter? You're about to find out. So is this Chihiro not Chihiro after all? As for the log itself, it contains footage from the year 2188. It was found buried in the mainframe data during the analysis of 426. <sighs> you seem very disturbed by me seeing that file. So much so, in fact. That you ended up deleting all of your logs. Would you mind telling me why you did that? I don't know. I don't remember. Well, at the very least, its contents suggested a connection to 426. Or even that he had been manipulating Miss Morimura. The log contained a very interesting report. Apparently, Juro Izumi downloaded memories onto Chihiro Morimura's clone. Oh. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let's chat first then. 426 was the one who overwrote my memories? So what does that mean? What are you trying to say? Are you saying this, Chihiro, yeah, is... Yeah, and I are both 426? Yeah, I think that sounds like what he's saying. This is also 426, although it doesn't seem like she knows she's 426. I don't know. Recall. Twenty-one eighty-eight. This is Tetsuya Ida. Don't know why I'm recording this. Nobody's going to hear it. Still, might as well. Not like I have anywhere else to share this. I was in the middle of a routine bug regression test, and I noticed part of the final phase had been altered. The change was made in Chihiro Morimura's host. The setting change looks like it'll trigger a memory overwrite. I don't know anything about the memory's contents, but it says the modifying user was Juro Izumi. Because someone thought it'd be a great idea to give that guy senior admin ID. <laughs> and at this point, what the hell can we do about it? At least now I have proof. You're all hypocrites anyway. Wasn't Juro Izumi a good guy in 2188 though? Jackass. So who even cares anymore? None of this matters. We're all dead anyway. <sighs> I thought Juro Izumi in 2188 was a good dude, so why would he? The log inconveniently revealed one of your secrets. One you were desperate to keep me away from. So you deleted it. 
That's my theory, anyway. A game theory. Remember where this all began? It was the compatibility experiment, the one that produced you. Based off Miss Morimura's footage and your own admissions, I've completely misjudged the situation. All this time, I believed you were her. But even from the very beginning, you've been your own person. So, what are you saying? I'm not Chihiro Morimura? If I'm not a duplicate of Chihiro Morimura, then who exactly do you think I am? You are Chihiro Morimura. Well, there you have it. No, not Miss Morimura, the teacher. Professor Chihiro Morimura. The one from the year 2188. Huh. And the central figure of Shikishima's interstellar development project. Huh. Okay, interesting. Theory 1, the murder of Chihiro Morimura. Mystery Files updated 5. Okay, very interesting. Definitely worth the wait. The overarching plan was altered so that Chihiro Morimura's host would undergo a memory overwrite during the final process of Project Arc. Tetsuya Ida discovers this deviation along with the fact that Izumi is the one who authorized the change. Huh. Oh, right. You know what? I'd completely forgotten it was Izumi that killed Okino. In my head, I'd changed it to be uh, Nenji that killed Okino. Why did I think it was Nenji Ogata that killed Okino? Oh, it was, it was Nenji that turned up with guns, right? But it was Izumi that killed Okino. So Izumi was not the good guy necessarily that I had in my head in 2188. In my head, I just remembered the saving uh, Megumi thing. But I had forgotten that bit of information. So not just a good dude. And then Hijiyama gunned him down. Right, yeah. So he was the one that altered it. So that the hero of the reset... Would undergo a memory overwrite so that she would... Become the, chi the original Chihiro? Somehow? Huh. Upon realizing the distinct discrepancy between Miss Morimura's and Chihiro's memories, Goto considers the possibility that Chihiro isn't simply a clone of Morimura. After researching the logs of 2188's Morimura, he theorizes that Chihiro's true identity is instead Professor Chihiro Morimura from 2188. For the compatibility experiment, Morimura believed she had transplanted her own memories, previously saved in Sector Zero, over to her clone. Chihiro. However, the memories that she transplanted from Sector Zero actually belonged to Professor Chihiro Morimura from 2188. Right, okay, so she... Right, so the original her was still basic DNA, but it was the saving of the memories. And so when that... Yeah, okay, okay. That makes sense. So the original, the original Morimura was a new Morimura without the memories. But it was the saved ones that she transplanted over to the clone that was the original 2188 ones, so... But it was Izumi that did that, not Morimura. Huh. Ms. Morimura has been in love with Jiro, Jiro Izumi since she was young. More on Miyuki? Back when their final line of defense failed one loop ago, Kisaragi and the others tried to shift before the world got reset. Unfortunately, due to an explosion, their data was damaged and couldn't be fully reconstructed, preventing them from making it to the next world. Huh. Right, yeah, that was from the flashback. That is unfortunate. Feels bad to be them. It was just a random explosion? Ah, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks for them. The one thing I'm not entirely clear on is how this loop resetting works. I mean, I say the one thing. There's plenty of things I'm not entirely clear on. But I'm definitely not clear on how this loop resetting works. Because obviously the sectors are not... You're not time travelling most of the time. But the, the loop, the reset thing, 
It's also not time travel, but it's it's like it's some kind of hard reset. But some people survive it. Like like Tetsuya Ida has gone through the loops and they reset the loops and they keep going with new versions of them coming in. But then it's like the new versions also get deleted when the loop happens. Like Yuki uh, Miyuki Inaba said to Shu, "You've got to stop him because if he succeeds in looping." then you'll be wiped out kind of thing and it's something to do with the kaiju getting in and reaching the mainframe but i'm just i'm it's not entirely clear not entirely clear but i'm sure it'll be i'm sure it will all be explained by the end anyway back in we go let's see what comes next This section taking place during the final battle? Are we going to be walking around during the final battle? After Aegis activation. We totally are. Oh, sick. Okay. We're interesting. Interesting. I definitely wasn't expecting that. It's changed. They're coming back this way. It's dangerous here. We need to get you to safety. Aw, don't tell me you're worried about me. <laughs> how about you mind your own business? Wow. You what? already know how I feel. This is what I wanted. Still. More importantly, can you really afford to waste your time here? Or have you already given up? The invasion is still in its preliminary phase. I've got time. First, I need to get you somewhere safe. There are no safe places left. <sighs> At least, none left for us. We're not safe anywhere. But you know that well enough. You're just losing precious time. Go focus on the job you're supposed to be doing. <sighs> Understood. I'll go. You'll find it safer towards the river. If, hypothetically, you wanted to know. Wait. As long as we're both here, there's something I want to clear up. Yeah. So, tell me. You were in love with Miss Morimura, weren't you? Oh. You said she was mind-hacked. But it was more about you being jealous, wasn't it? That's hardly. This may be our last chance to talk. Answer me. Which is hilarious considering that the 2188 version of him ordered a hit on her. You are correct. Is that what you wanted to hear? That I was driven by some cheap, naive impulse? That I... that I can't think about anything else. And that's Aww. why you brought back my memory too. Isn't it? <sighs> you never cared how you managed to do it. You just wanted her back. So much. There's a lot of that going around, huh? 
You really were a slave to your desires. That's the Renya Goto I remember. It means... I don't have to like you after all. Thank you. I think that's all I wanted to hear. Professor, I... You should go. After all, we still have our bet. Your Although bet? it looks like I'm about to win it. You should go. Huh. Interesting, interesting. Activate Sentinel. Man, that's so sick. <laughs> I love that. Every time I do it, it's just great. Oh, Echo. What's wrong? Did you get separated from your mommy? <sighs> Could you leave me alone? It's dangerous out here. Just come with me, okay? Will you just... <sighs> What are you? How did it miss them? <laughs> Don't worry. If you can't find your mommy, I can help you look. We just have to run away right now, okay? version of Morimura really was just wanting to fucking die. <laughs> like, she was just happy to stand there as they came through. Feels bad. That was a much shorter one. Mr. Charles updated. For Renya, Goto secretly had feelings for Ms. Morimura. However, after seeing a 2188 communications log between that era's Tetsuya Ida and Goto, he suspects that Morimura's memories were overwritten by 426. In addition, Morimura's sudden change of behavior has raised his suspicions further. Yuki. When the kaiju appeared in 1985, she declares to the team that they can relax now that she's taking the field and activates Sentinel-21. Was that it? That was indeed it. Alright, moving on. Okay, 85, before the final battle now. Strange. I know this is my first time here, but this suddenly makes me feel so... nostalgic. Sunsets will do that, I find, regardless of time period. Yes, but... This must be... Well, I suppose it must be one of those places. One of those places? So? Where am I going? I've rented an apartment under a false name. Can't be any worse than our last accommodations. As long as it's not rubble, I'll take it. <laughs> My apologies. If it's any comfort, I'm certain nobody will find you there. Not Shikishima, and certainly not Miss Morimura. I suppose we have Ida-san to thank for all this. The funds and paperwork he prepared were invaluable. Tetsuya Ida. And he's still missing, is he? Yes. 
Let's go. Apologies if you can hear noise in the background. There's fireworks going off outside. It's bonfire night here. Chihiro san. Hopefully they don't come through the mic. You think I'm the professor? That is what I said. You are Professor Chihiro Morimura, a major figure in Shikishima in the year 2188, namely the leader of its space initiative. What are you even talking about? Just some hypotheticals. A possible interpretation of the evidence I found. Okay, say I am the professor. Remember, Miss Morimura is the one who created me. You think that was her plan? She wanted a host for the professor and not herself? How would that make sense? Maybe it wasn't her plan, because it was Juro that did the change, so maybe she didn't know. Miss Morimura ran an experiment to grant her clone compatibility. She believed that you were synchronized to her. She believed it was her own data she transmitted. But it was the other Chihiro Morimura in Sector Zero. And of course, you entered the world as a newborn, incapable of verbal communication. So Miss Morimura never realized her mistake. This is all speculation. Certainly, yes. But if I'm right, and you are the professor, I imagine you were in quite a panic yourself. All things considered, it was a staggering deviation from the original plan. <laughs> what original plan? Among the logs from 2188, one of Tetsuya Ida's noted that he'd found an anomaly. Chihiro Morimura was set to undergo a memory transplant in the final phase, and the final phase, well, that would be us. Okay. The log from the future I saw first. That would be the comms log I found with my own ID. This refers to the humans who can... I don't know where you think you're going with this. A bit of patience, please. There's a little more context I need to provide. The first log I checked held some surprises. The author seemed to be an elderly Renya Goto. And the date of recording appeared to be 2188. I assumed it was some future version of myself. One that had time traveled into the far future. But now, I don't think that's the case. I believe no, it's, it's the, the other way around. Original version of you. In other words, I myself. I'm a clone of him. Yeah. <sighs> yep, yep. Every that checks individual out. I saw in that log footage. They all created clones of themselves. Yeah, they're all the original 2188 clones. versions, huh? and we are I did find made a log from that them. proves this point. What did you see? A comms log between you and Professor Takamiya. Her field is genetic engineering, I note. Recall. Professor Takamiya. How are the projections on those self-replicating probes? The simulations look good. Especially the survey range. We never expected a rate of expansion that high. It was definitely the right call to prioritize its strength as a group over individual units. These probes are pretty much living machines now. They self-replicate using natural resources mined from asteroids in their routing. They'll just keep building up and breaking down. An infinite cycle of self-replication on its way to its target. There's basically zero chance of the tech failing midway through. They'll just keep on going. Probably long after humanity's gone. Glad I came to an expert then. All that's left is the refinement of the memory cube. The inf 
infrastructural storage cell, right? The cube's made up of five identical memory layers. In theory, it'll compare itself to nearby probes and use them as a template for repairs. And if it can't be repaired, well... Fine. One probe down. We've got thousands more. And our passengers? I'll be loading them up with the DNA of all the survivors. I've already got samples and data from all 15. Now it's just down to launching them. These clones will go with all our hopes on their shoulders. By the way, what do we do about him? Him? I mean, after that DNA test. Who is him? The DNA test? What? What? I don't know. There were 15 survivors of that colony, each with a clone established to be compatible. Though they grew up in different eras, different worlds. And you, you aimed to replace your clone's memories with your own. That was your real plan. <sighs> right now, I imagine your biggest question is precisely how much of that log I've seen. Am I close? <sighs> you do have a genius mind, but also the form of a child. I imagine it's harder than usual to hide your agitation. <laughs> it's absolutely not. <laughs> Now you're just trying to trick me? Interesting, very interesting. I'd say based on that log. Professors Takamiya and Morimura seem to know each other quite well. Maybe you'd know something about that. Of course not. Then perhaps instead, Sukasa Okino? <sighs> Being compatible, that makes one part of his identity clear. He's one of the 15 from the year 2188. So, any theories? Who was he in the year 2188? Uh, uh, oh, is he Morimura's son? Care to guess? Stop it. No? Then allow me to clarify. That boy, Sukasa Okino, is Professor Chihiro Morimura's son. Huh. But not her child by personal conventional birth. Oh? The professor donated her egg cells as a young woman. In accordance with the policies on population control. Huh. <laughs> no, Lots of O's and Huh's. <laughs> this is oh man. They they definitely correct decision to keep Renya's locked. Whereas, like, with Hijiyamas, I felt like a lot of that was filler, and I was kind of like, why have you kept this hidden for a lot of it? Uh, the Renya's stuff, very good decision to keep him hidden until the very end. This is, this is great. This is, I love it. Their blood relation wasn't exactly obvious. Until DNA testing on the clone revealed it. The professor was faced with the truth. He was her son. Which, naturally, sparked an inconvenient surge of maternal instinct. <clears throat> However, Okino himself didn't think highly of the professor. He had his disagreements with the project staff, too. When it seemed like her end was near, the professor recorded him one final message. One last chance for him to know the truth. Oh, stop! You saw that? But how? You'd need a biometric ID match to access that log. So you should only have been able to access your own. My logs and Okinos should have been locked off. Thank you, Professor Morimura. Uh, he was just guessing. Uh, Maybe he didn't see it, and he was just saying that to get her to confirm his suspicions. Indeed. 
the files I could access were somewhat limited. Or not. Mostly company logs. Meeting reports, call transcripts, bureaucratic chaff. Barely anything in the way of your personal records. <sighs> then, how do you know what was in my logs? It's simple, really. Oh, yeah. Flashback to the mainframe. That should do it for preparations. Now, let's see if the biometric authentication works. That got me past the initial barrier, at least. What's he doing now, here? With Miss Murray Murray's ID, I should be able to get into her logs. He, he's just scanning himself and telling the computer that that scan is Miss Murray Murray, so then he can get in or something. Oh shit! Oh. Right, because Iori is also here as DNA, so he kidnapped Iori. When was that? Kidnapped Iori and used her stuff. Maybe if I check Miss Morimura's logs, I might find a clue why your biometric ID matches hers. Poor Iori, when was this happening? It really is her ID. Iori Fuyusaka? Though unconscious, she proved very helpful. She is Chihiro Morimura. A compatible version. If you really are Miss Morimura, then you should already know who Iori Fuyasaka is. Because that would mean you hid her here in Sector 4. The plan was for the two newborns to grow up with their own separate lives. Ida-san's idea, presumably. Chihiro Morimura was planned to be placed in 2104, and Tetsuya Ida in 2024. Yet neither could be found. I knew Renya Goto of Shikishima pretty well. You and he are very different. Except that you both make my life a lot harder. <laughs> so, suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. At this point, and why not? That... It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> uh... From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. Okay. Theory 2, clone. Okay, Murimura 2188. Upon testing the DNA of the 15 individuals for Project Ark, it became clear that Okino is Murimura's child. Though it wasn't through conventional birth, Murimura still has a maternal connection to him. In order to view Ms. Murimura's logs, Goto used the Yori Fuyusaka, who is unconscious, from the shock of seeing a sentinel in the 2065 ruins. Huh. He brought her to the UFO mainframe and used her biometric ID. I'm trying to remember that happening. I don't remember that happening. It was probably a long time ago. My memory is shit, but... I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. The 2188 Professor Takamiya studies self-replicating probes. 
Upon testing the DNA of 15 individuals Project Ark, it becomes clear that he is Chihiro Momo's child. The clones of the 15 survivors in the colony are the compatible ones. Inside the probes are infrastructural storage cells called memory cubes, which allow the probe to compare itself to nearby probes and use them as a template for repairs. If a probe can't be repaired, then it dies, as a biological organism would, and the others move on. The probes that departed Earth with the DNA data of the 15 individuals surveyed an extremely wide range, replicating themselves infinitely until they found a new planet that humanity could inhabit. Huh. That's pretty fucking smart. <laughs> that is pretty fucking smart. Takamiya, you, you have that big brain, yo. Cool. Cool. Okay. Interesting. That then locks in behind third area wave five, which is where I am at. So you can only just unlock this oh. next bit. We still haven't unlocked this, have we? No, hypocrisy event. Interesting. So this is, this is like literally brand new now. We have to be at the point we are in destruction. <sighs> okay, mid battle. I see. Okay, continuing on with their escape. That Goto? Oh no. Alright, Goto has propellers. Hey, Iori, what's going on? Iori chan? They all appeared on this side out of nowhere. Just keep running. It's easy to say. But where are we even supposed to run? <laughs> oh. Miwako, I'm sorry I couldn't get you somewhere safer. But I'll handle this. Usami-chan? Go, go, gadget! Tommy! Ah, it's so dope! It's so good! I love it! So very much! Usami-chan disappeared! What the heck is going on? <laughs> This must be such a mind fuck before Muwako, even though she's not like one of the clones, right? She's just something created by the by universal control to like fill up the city kind of thing. Make it seem like a real place. She's not one of the actual clone people. Must be still, must be very uh very upsetting to have all this going on around you when you've got no fucking clue what's going on. Chihiro san, why did you call for me? My senior ID can get me access to the higher level commands. But I still need the biometric authentication to get it started. So I'll need your help. Though... It's not a favor for me. I'm the one who's going to be helping all of you, in the end. Don't move. Are you... trying to shift from here? I need you to step away. What, we're just going to leave her on her own? <sighs> Poor Muwako. This place is... We're in 
inside the underground UFO. The Sector 4 mainframe. Okie doke, okie doke. What are you trying to achieve? Maximum hypocrisy. Ah, this is the hypocrisy of that. I'm done here. Your fight might get just a little easier. Get on the shifter already. What are you trying to do? I've established a connection to the system. My senior credentials should take care of the rest. Thank you. I didn't think you'd come back for me. I'm shifting you back. That is a whole lot of, like... <laughs> No. <laughs> the screens don't normally stretch up that high. Let's get started, shall we? All units fighting the kaiju. Can you hear me? Who's that? How'd you get on this channel? Huh? Right, so she only Wait, brought him down here so that she could, because he's compatible to access the logs in the first place, Chihiro. I guess. Is that you, Chihiro? I'm Chihiro Morimura. What? That's our teacher's name. I'm going to evacuate the populace all at once. Readouts say 1.2 million people in Sector 4. They'll all be force shifted to the year 2025. As in, Sector 3. To the year 2025? You're shifting over a million people? So you don't have to worry about any civilian casualties. That's all. Wait a minute, Chihiro! Initializing shift. Wow. Oh no, she's been there before. She knows where she is. Oh no, she doesn't. She doesn't, does she? She forgot. That should be everyone. Didn't she get her mind? Didn't Universal Control wipe her mind to make her forget? Unbelievable. Absolutely ridiculous. Why am I doing this? <sighs> What's the meaning of this? How did you gain access? Explain yourself. Explain. Uh, I just have one favor to ask of you. A favor? Well, it's kind of complicated, but I'm actually asking on behalf of someone else. A young man by the name of Okino. Sukasa Okino? Oh, what's the favor? I mean, I'm sure she'll grant it because he is her son. <laughs> One update. Thanks to Jihiro, she was able to evacuate the Sector 4 battlefield and find refuge in Sector 3. So, oh, that's, that's going to unlock Hijiyama, obviously. But that's his final one. Renya's got two left, probably. So even though that kind of does lead into Hijiyama th Hijiyama's one, and I am curious what he's about to ask, I think let's, uh, seeing as this is a Renya video, this is just the, the big Renya special. Let's continue on and do one more with Renya. Hmm. 2188. This data is... Is that you, Goto? It's been a Kengo while. Ogata, is that Nenji's dad? The last time I saw you was two months before my death. Ooh. Roughly a year ago, I think. Chairman Ogata? An AI construct based on Chairman Kengo Ogata. Why would this be in Morimura's files? I see. So this is how she managed to raise all those funds. She must have used this AI to access the Shikishima Chairman's hidden network. Not quite. 
I'm afraid that was originally my idea. The good Professor Morimura was only following my orders. So all of this was by design? Your design? Leaking the prototype nanomachinery to the black market? The catastrophic consequences? You're the one who exploited her. If you blame anyone, blame yourself. We were so close to losing Project Ark entirely. Now we must prioritize the project above all else. I'll finally have my second chance at life. You were planning on downloading yourself into a clone. A brave new Earth is waiting for me. I won't let you do this. What is Professor Morimura doing now? She's dead. By that hitman's hands, I presume. That's humanity. Self-destructive to the very end. Only a few survivors left now. I give them three days at most. My deepest condolences for your imminent death. <laughs> Shut up, Construct. Your project is over. Unfortunately for you, the Ark has already set off. It's still within comms range. You don't have clearance. I refuse to let an AI control the future of humanity. Not of the survivors. The ones who would have clearance. Hmm, what's he trying to do? The, the original Renya seems like quite the fucking so, twat. Suppose I am the professor. Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why's that? It'd be inconvenient for you if we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. Right, that's where the previous one ended. <laughs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. You think I'm trying to destroy the world? I do. So you think I'm enabling the kaiju now? Even though I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? That is true, at least. You're clearly not on the kaiju's side. After all, they are a threat to your primary objective which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188. However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. Three months? This re If Operation Aegis succeeds, a world reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. Huh. So she does want the reset. It's interesting because it was originally older Morimura versus Ida and Ida wanted the reset and Morimura didn't but then this younger Morimura that is actually the original Morimura does also want the reset the same as Ida does. Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like it was out of your hands. Remark in the UFO. Recall! It's like the three main frame this time, I think. This is the mainframe of the UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okinokun. You can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most likely. Yeah, what did happen here? Have we seen something happen here? Shikishima Android. 
Probably left here by Ida-san. They've all been shot. External damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. Let's get started then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. This abnormality all comes down to the decode, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. I have my ways. <laughs> like being an original person. This is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it? An arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. Hmm? Probably the former then. The comms channel to the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. But we don't have that long. Time to find another link. Will this fix cut off the Kaiju's attacks? It should be able to solve the problem at its core. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. That's out of my hands. Which means... We'll still have to deal with the kaiju already generated. We don't know how many the factories have produced. If we can just verify their numbers... Hmm... We're going to need the Sentinels after all. But they, the factories have produced RPFs, which then infinitely best. produce, sent, uh, produce kaiju themselves. Is too much of a risk. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. That would revert the situation back to the original plan. Which is, in essence, your goal. You're overthinking this. Am I? In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. <laughs> but you have one major obstacle. And that's Operation Aegis. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Indeed. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe, effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. And what is your goal again? Fine then. Let's say all your wild speculation is correct. What do you plan to do about it? I don't think we know, right? What her ultimate original plan was. Let's backtrack a little bit. We discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder. And you asked me who I think did it. Uh. 
If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Ooh. Did I now? She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Their the goals were side, misaligned. Someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect one. Believe me, I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Shikishima's behalf. A buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight. Yeah. Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father. And Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. Dug that out of a log too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the colony after your death. Oops. Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. <sighs> it's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's clone. <sighs> That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Certainly, from your perspective, Miss Morimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Uh-oh. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, we know she doesn't do that, obviously, because he's in the final battle. And we've seen, even before now, in Renya's own, like, stories, we've seen snippets from the final battle. Interesting. So her original plan, is she was she in love with... Was she in love with Kengo Ogato or something? Why would she try and bring him back? It's just... I don't know. I feel like maybe that was the answer? She was in love with Kengo, and so they set it so that both of their clones would download their original memories into themselves. So from her perspective, the Morimura clone was always going to be erased when she, like, took over her consciousness. So I guess she didn't really see anything wrong with killing the Morimura clone herself once she was here. When the 2188 Professor Chihiro Morimura's memories were restored to Chihiro, she witnesses the destruction caused by the Kaiju invasion and the extent of the situation's deviation from her original plan for Project Ark. Chihiro decides that for her plan to succeed, she'll need a fresh start with a new world devoid of all these problems and variables. Although they are both Chihiro Morimura, Morimura and her efforts to enable Operation Aegis were obstacles to the original plan, so Chihiro kills her. Christ. Kengo, father of the 2188 Nenji Ogata, as well as the chairman of Shikishima Group. He died in 2187, but he left behind a simulated AI construct of his personality. He's responsible for manipulating Professor Morimura and pr pressing Project Ark forward, planning to revive himself through the use of the Inelocitor and cloning technology on the New Earth. Chihiro used her senior admin ID in the UFO's mainframe to stop the automated factory from producing kaiju. And there we have it. Okay. Very, very interesting. Ah. Well, it's a good thing I was going to stop there anyway. Because his final thing, I was, this is, that's actually really good because I decided whilst going through this that I was going to leave his story for the final story. Turns out that is not an option. Like, not, not, that's the wrong way of putting it. It's non-optional. That's a better way of putting it. 
To do Renya's final story, you have to have story progress at 100% with every other person. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Well. We now are in a situation where every single person is on their final story. You're locked from Yuki. Uh, it's Tommy that unlocks destruction. So we'll probably do Tommy next, I think. That is what I'm thinking. Because we've got how many destruction left to do? Five more destructions left to do. Okay. Seeing as the seeing as the destruction takes place after the uh, after the stories, I will probably leave like say the last two waves to do after Renya's ending just for a final couple of fights video kind of thing uh, we'll see how it goes not won't 100% stick to that but that's how I'm thinking of it right now so we'll probably do the next three and then leave the last two till right at the end seeing as that's probably the final bit of story uh, unless Renya's end thing comes after that which is also possible, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I would like to at least do the next three. So, yes, we will complete Tommy's terraforming event and do some destruction next time. That is the plan, but that is where we will leave it for today. We are getting so close to the end of this game now, guys. Loving every minute. This has been especially fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Thanks for watching. See you then.